I'm Dr. Ruby and welcome to the Veggie Chest where healthy food is easy and delicious. And today we're making one of my favorites, mango miso kale salad. Now kale has become extremely popular over the last couple of years. It's everywhere. It's all the rave. Everybody's talking about kale, kale, kale. And one of the reasons is because it's extremely nutritious. It's got it's one of the most nutrient-dense grains you can eat. So I think that's one of the reasons is it's gained so much popularity. And it tastes good. It's great in smoothies. You don't even taste it. And you get all that boost of uh, nutrition, calcium, all the great things that are in kale. So it's wonderful to find lots of different ways to eat it. I personally have kale in my smoothie every morning. Um, but today we're making it in a salad. So I'm combining some of my favorite things. We're gonna be using some mango here. It's just um, a chopped and peeled mango, nicely diced. Um, and first we're gonna make our sauce for the dressing for the kale salad. So we're gonna start with that. Um, the base of the dressing is what I'm using is a tamari miso or miso tamari rather. Um, you could use, if you can't find a miso tamari, you can use a regular tamari or any other kind of a soy sauce type um, flavor. You could use coconut aminos if you like. So I'm gonna add our tamari. Our, and the miso tamari, what's great about it is it gives that nice miso flavor. It's been aged really well. It's, it's really, really good. So we're gonna add our tamari. And then we are gonna add um, brown stone ground mustard. That's gonna add a nice contrast there. And then to add a little sweet with our sour, we're adding just a hint of agave, about a teaspoon or so, okay? And then we're gonna mix that, but before we do, we're gonna add a little lemon here. We're gonna add the juice of this lemon right in there. It's a nice juicy lemon. Adds a nice tang to it. All right, so we're just gonna whisk this together. Get all the ingredients there off the side. All right. smells great. Great, great, great. So all we have to do now, take the leaves off of our kale, you know, bite-sized pieces. I find it easier just to do that. And sometimes I just do like that and save the stem for the smoothie and just tear it off. Now this is something you can get your kids involved in. You know, the more kids are involved in cooking healthy food, the more they're going to eat it. So this is something you can definitely get them to do and, and save yourself a little work. So we've got our kale all ready to go. And we're gonna add a little bit of um, olive oil. Kind of make our leaves a little shiny and mix that in. Sometimes I just use my hands and get right in there with the olive oil, nicely washed hands. And uh, you can use salad tongs or whatever works. And then we're just gonna add our sauce and nicely coat all of the kale leaves. So, there we go. Mix that in there really nicely. Kale has such a mild flavor. It doesn't take a lot to make it taste good. Our one ingredient that makes it a little spicy, sometimes I usually put this in the sauce, but it's here. So we are gonna add our garlic. Definitely need the garlic for that added kick. Put that in. There we go. All right. Okay, make sure we get our garlic nicely mixed in here. So definitely add it to your sauce, unless you forget like me, just add it whenever. <laughs> All right, so some of my best dishes have been when I've left something out inadvertently. <laughs> All right, so all the leaves are coated, as you can see. And then we're just gonna add our mango. Now, 
Now, mango is an awesome fruit. It really can be termed a super fruit for all the nutrients it has, all the fiber that it has. And it's so sweet um, and just delicious. It adds such a nice contrast to this, um, to the miso. Sweet and the sour here, it's awesome. So we're done. That's what's awesome about um, healthy foods, raw foods. It doesn't take a lot of time. Chop up a few things and you're good to go. So we're gonna plate this up and we'll be right back. Well, we've got our kale salad all nicely plated here. It looks delicious. I can't wait to dig in. Um, the mango just really makes this pop. So I hope you give this a try because it really doesn't get much easier, as I say all the time on this show, than this. This is an extremely simple recipe. You can whip it up in 10 minutes and, and you'll be good to go and your guests will be singing your praises. So I hope you give it a try and if you do, let me know. Let me know how you like it. So thank you for joining me on this episode of The Veggie Chest, where healthy food is easy and always delicious.